It started on the track, pushed by a privateer racer's passion. I've been the racer that races because it was fun. And I would go to the races with him a lot and basically be his pit crew. And uh, I've been the racer that races because I've got to win, you know, i got to prove something. At Charlotte Motor Speedway, he had an awful wreck. The bike slammed into me and smashed me into the wall. It was very, very hard to watch him hitting a wall at 180 miles an hour. Tish, of course, rode in the ambulance with me. And he was pretty much flatlined. I stopped breathing. He had to be revived. Tish ran and got somebody, and they brought me back. I wouldn't have expected him to live uh, to see 30. I'm really glad it didn't happen that way. And the company that bears his name has mirrored his dramatic path, all the way back to the struggle of the early days. It took about five hours to completely heat up the barn from dead cold. Wouldn't be surprised if Eric is wondering, why are these guys coming back every day? But <laughs> We came back every day. It's the soul of the company is, is, is American. The fact that the company was you know, built out of adversity and uh, that it was built by a team of people doing things in an innovative way, working under incredibly tough conditions. Remember there were times when, when uh, we had to wait maybe an extra couple days to get a paycheck yeah. because there wasn't enough in the account or we had to trade motorcycles for wheels because yeah. It was, it was tough times. Everybody kind of wondered, gee, uh, is the place going to be open tomorrow, you know? But uh, we've, we've all stuck it out. Buell has grown from a family of a few to one of 200. <laughs> and together, they've made over 100,000 motorcycles bikes that just keep getting better. I think that whole idea about, you know, making things better for society is a fundamental American trait. And I know that's what the Buell culture has become. What we have in America is innovation and free thinking. And by applying you know, the latest technology and the latest, you know, free thinking, out of the box thinking to the design of motorcycles can keep us competitive in terms of cost and quality, but we can become leaders in terms of the technical content of the products that we're delivering. Now let's just prove, let's show those guys we can build something here in the U.S. that can beat them. Something innovative that can only be made here, that's patented and protected and delivers that and more at an affordable price. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm absolutely convinced that we can build you know, the best sport bikes in the world. There's no question in my mind that we would stop the line if, there, if there's a doubt. If there is one inkling of a doubt that we have a, an issue that needs to be addressed, he would rather stop and make sure that it's correct. And I know he will back me up with that decision every time because it matters. What the customer wants matters. We're trying to make things lighter, stronger, faster. There's never any rest, you know, because if, if you rest, the other guy won't, and then they're going to beat you. You have to be of the mindset that once you deliver the original goal, that the goal has moved, the target is, you, you have to be okay with that, because it is always like that. You know, you, we will say, okay, if we could only do this, and then we do that, and, we, and, and then, you know, Eric would go, yeah, but what about this? It's always, you know, move forward, move forward, move forward. Uh, at, a, at a blistering pace. I wish people understood more, you know, what we're doing. It actually is pretty technically sophisticated. And, you know, whether you see the equipment or if you sit in long enough to really understand what we're talking about, it is not, you know, an illusion. It's the real deal. Innovative, pioneering, humble, but challenging, you know? And knowing that you're gonna have to learn and that you're gonna have to do things you've never dreamt you had in you and you know believing that you're going to be able to step up to win a time cup. This is a great American story. It's the story of Buell. And of course the Buell on top of the box. <laughs>